I'm your host, Nancy Ford, president of Memphis Chapter of BDPA. Our guest tonight is Denise Holland, and she's the president of National BDPA. Welcome, Denise. Thank you, Nancy, for having me. Thank you for coming. All the way from uh, Baltimore County near Washington, D.C., is that right? That's correct. So uh, what do you think of our fee so far? So far, the hospitality is just wonderful, and the weather is great. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. So um, we're going to talk tonight about National BDPA. How long have you been a member of BDPA? Oh, you're making me tell my age now, right? Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, approximately 22 years. Oh, you don't even look old enough to have been a member I that know, long. I'm you must 21. have joined in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love it. So what, what caused you to join BDPA? Why did you join? Well, let's see. Earlier in my career, uh, I was just starting in the programming field, and I came across some folks who um, thought that this was a wonderful organization to network with, to get some more information about programming and networking, and uh, it was, certainly. So those were my interests at the time. And 22 years is a long time to of any organization. What has kept you in BDPA for 22 years? Boy, is that a loaded question. <laughs> well, I, I must say that I've always had uh, the desire to give back. I can recall from the time I was five, I've always wanted to teach and to help people learn. And uh, being involved with BDPA is definitely a helping people to learn organization as well as learning yourself. So that's uh, definitely a big, big motivator for me. It provides the opportunity for people who really want to help folks regardless of whether they're youth or adults. So that brings us to something that maybe I should have asked in the beginning. Just what is BDPA and what is its purpose? I talked a little bit about it last month, mm -hmm. but from the national perspective, Tell me, what is BDPA? What is its purpose, and how does that help the local chapter? How do those purposes align? Okay. Well, first off, BDPA is a national organization. It's a nonprofit organization that was formed in 1975. And I'm sure you can imagine that back in 1975, we didn't have as many folks who were involved in computing, of the field of computing, um, who may look like you or me actually standing in a meeting or attending any kind of conference or networking event regarding technology. Um, and the founder um, and co-founder decided to um, get together with uh, other professionals and form this wonderful organization so that we have a network that would cater to people from youth all the way up to professional levels. Okay, so what are some of the national initiatives of BDPA, current national initiatives? The main one I would say right now is to grow membership. I believe that BDPA right now is one of America's best kept secrets. It's an organization that uh, caters to everyone, and you know computers touch all of our lives, and we're involved in technology all over the place. If you uh, turn on the TV now, what do you hear primarily talking about the digital um, divide? And you hear also about um, digital TV and how in uh, February, I believe it is, of 2009, that everyone needs to have this converter box or so forth, or you won't even be able to get a signal on TV. So it touches all of our lives. So how does the national organization support the local chapters? National supports local chapters in many ways. First, we provide the ability to help the chapters form. We have a chapter startup kit, so the very beginning, we show you it started. We show you how to formulate the leadership, making sure the chapter is structured properly. And then on a regular basis, we provide national mentors. So those who serve on the National Board of Directors provide 
provide a mentorship program. So we have regular phone calls with those leaders to make sure that they're doing well. Uh, we also provide leaders to go and do presentations, such as why I'm here, certainly. I will be doing the uh, presentation at the local chapter meeting tomorrow. We have presenters who come from all over the place, and we do send those leaders from the national level to support the local chapters. So this helps to bring the national initiative. And we also help them to come to meetings to make sure that they understand the different um, aspects of BDPA. Hey, we talked about the uh, organization being national. How large is BDPA? We have uh, close to three members now. But of course, if you ask me where I'd like BDPA to be, I'd say 10, 20,000, and there's no reason why we can't have over 100 or 200 members in each chapter. So that's certainly a, a long time goal for me. And how many chapters are there? There are over 50 chapters right now, and uh, we have uh, an initiative right now where we have um, chapters that are planned to be formed international as well. Oh, that's uh, very interesting. Yes. Internationally, you say. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we just had um, some uh, of our leaders uh, attend a huge event in Tanzania, Africa this past June and we will have some of those uh, folks actually attend our national conference in August of this year. But we have people who have an interest in having a chapter in the Bahamica, um, Canada and so we have uh, folks who are interested in forming chapters all over. So I can really um, appreciate that goal with us now not just being national but also being international. Now you mentioned the conference. Tell me a little about the conference. I went for the very first time last year. I was very, very excited. Good. So tell me a little about the conference. Okay. The BDPA Technology Conference will be held this year in Atlanta, Georgia at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. And it will start on August the 6th through the 9th of August. And uh, the conference consists of a variety of workshops, and we have an adult track as well as a youth track. We have leadership programs um, also for entrepreneurs, and um, then we have those for the youth as well. During the conference, we have certain highlights. We have a youth technology, and that consists of folks who are not participating in, or should young adults who are not participating in one of our major events, which is the high school computer competition. And they get an opportunity to have presenters show all kinds of uh, different things. And they usually try to have a little fun out of it as well. And these students have an opportunity to visit some major technology um, location. In fact, they're going to visit uh, CNN when they're in Atlanta this year, so that should be quite exciting because that's um, an organization where people can look and feel and touch and uh, see the benefits, certainly, of technology. Then we have the high school computer competition where high school students compete against other high school students all over the country. And this is a very exciting event for them because they have practiced for months, somewhere between six, in some cases, eight months. Uh, all day in some cases during the summer and part-time on Saturdays and they get to compete against other high school students all over the country in computing knowledge and then they get to develop a website in one day. And why would a child want to do that? Why would they want to spend <laughs> all of that time their whole summer studying? What is the benefit? What is the payoff of winning the high school computer competition well, I'm not for gonna, the child? I'm not going to say that they're nerdy, even though I wrote my <laughs> first program at 12 and I went to summer school and I didn't have to go to summer school. Um, I think that they're interested because they like the um, touch and the feel, the, the hands-on of the computers. They have a natural interest in actually doing the programming, and some like the networking, because these are students who also form relationships. They get to travel, they get to form relationships with students all over the country, and some have never even been outside of their home city, so they get a chance to travel, and they also get to broaden their knowledge. And we have some programs um, where our um, students have learned 
learned so much and the program is so stringent that even the Board of Education has recognized the uh, knowledge that they've obtained and they've given them credit in high school. And does the national organization assist local chapters if they are participating in HSCC, assist them with getting uh, the school board to accredit that program? We've had, we started that, yes. In fact, uh, the first city where they started that has um, been in southern uh, Minnesota, and so we're looking at modeling that now all over the country because it just makes sense. Yes, that's, that's very interesting. Actually, uh, I recall one of the students in Memphis who uh, was on one of the championship teams, one of the winning teams, actually mm -hmm. received a job offer from one of the major corporations here. Uh, they were trying to entice him to not go to college but to come work for them. Wow. Or to come work for them and go to college part time. He okay. chose to go someplace else for college. Okay. but. That just speaks to how stringent that program actually is. That is just a really exciting program. Um, when we talk about the HSCC program, we really are proud of it. But we have other programs. The whole HSCC program falls under our national initiative, which is the Student uh, Information Technology and Education Scholarship Program, which is an uh, acronym for a SITES. And uh, that program helps young folks to get internships as well as the scholarships for college. And we're, we're looking at doing that with BDPA students all over the place. But our high school students are certainly to be proud of, but we have students who are starting at elementary school levels who are learning about robotics. So these are students who are just naturally talented and they um, tend to um, fall right into it, just like just picking up your cell phone and dialing a number. It comes natural to them. So now the nerdy kid can fit in. Absolutely. It was a geek as chic, as they yes. saying, right? Yes. <laughs> so what about the workshops? Tell me a little about some of the workshops that are available at the conference. Well, we have uh, PMP certification prep, of course, and that's normally a two-day uh, training. Uh, we have uh, Lean Six Sigma classes. Those who are interested in entrepreneurship, how to actually start a business, what are the key factors involved in starting a business, and uh, we also have leadership workshops. So anybody who's interested in a leadership program, that is also available. Now, are the these workshop. workshops just for adults? No, we have student workshops as well. So those students who are not participating in the high school computer competition, and that's certainly over a few days, we do have the, the YTC, um, that's the Youth Technology Camp, and those workshops are geared primarily for those students who are not uh, participating. And then there's some who may interest those who are in college as well. So there seems to be a lot of learning opportunities in BDPA. Oh, significant. Absolutely. So tell me a little about the uh, IT Institute. The ICT Institute is BDPA's own. This is something that we're really very proud of because we have three different certification programs through the Institute. We have those, depending on where you are in your career with BDPA, we have that uh, junior level and then we have the, the mid-level and then the master certification level. So we have three different levels depending on where you are, how many years you've been in IT and the amount of experience you have. And so this is a program that we've um, partnered with, with Auburn University, and you do have a certification. And today, it's all about certifications. You can't go anywhere where you can't see some kind of acronym behind your name and rec recognize that that really stands for something. And those employers who see that in our BDPA members, they take pride in the fact that they've gotten that certification through BDPA. But they've already got a bachelor's degree. Why do they need a certification? You know, you always have to learn. In fact, that's in harmony with our theme for our conference this year because you really have to stay on the cutting edge. And that's one of the biggest, biggest benefits that we can offer with BDPA. We're always staying on the cutting edge of technology. Okay. Well, we're going to come back in a moment and talk some more, but right after these messages. Okay, great. Pace, 
satellite customers. You may be able to pay less with Comcast and get a lot more. Compare your current satellite TV service to Comcast Digital Cable with HBO or Stars at a price that's hard to beat, as low as $29.99 a month for three months. Switch today and get digital cable with On Demand, plus your choice of HBO or Stars, all with no contracts and no ugly dish. Save even more when you add high speed internet and phone service. Don't miss one of our best deals. Call 259 1405. How's it going, Frank? How's it going, Frank? Everything's good. Everything's groovy. It's a great day. DSL got your employees on edge? Give them Comcast Business Class Internet. Already way faster than DSL. And now with Power Boost for download speeds up to 12 megs, right when you need it most. Hey, AT&T Internet customers, you may be able to pay less with Comcast and get a lot more. Compare your current Internet service to Comcast High Speed Internet with Power Boost. Now at a price that's going fast, only $19.95 a month for six months. Switch today and get download speeds up to four times faster than DSL and broadband features, including free McAfee security. Save even more when you add digital cable or phone service. Don't miss one of our best deals. Call 259-1405. How's it going, Frank? Everything's good. Everything's groovy. It's a great day. Need a more productive office? You need Comcast Business Class. Known for faster than DSL Internet. Now offering digital voice with unlimited flat rate calling and business features your employees will appreciate. Welcome back to the Business Computing Show. Our guest this evening is Denise Holland, the president of National BDPA. So we've been talking about various things in BDPA, and there are a couple of things that we haven't covered. We've talked a lot about learning opportunities. It seems that uh, the motto of BDPA, which is, uh, tell us a little bit about the motto. Well, I, I would say that we have two that we really are looking at uh, primarily. Our major tagline, which was actually one of our themes for our conference in Philadelphia a few years ago, um, from the classroom to the boardroom, uh, we tend to use that quite often because it really specifies, in a nutshell, what BDPA is all about. We do help our youth from the classroom all the way up to the boardroom. And the whole idea behind that, and our founder, Earl Pace, has um, a presentation that he uses to talk about how we help our youth who are training at the high school computer competition level, quiz bowls, and help them with uh, scholarships for college, help them getting professional jobs, learning and training and so forth, all the way up to the senior board from level where hopefully they make it one day where they're on paid boards. So tell me a little bit about the boardroom. We've talked a lot about the classroom. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little about the boardroom and the ITSMF, all of these acronyms that IT right, people are so right. fond of. Well, you know, actually, that was a perfect segue to asking the question about ITSMF. And I, I must say first uh, that I'm really uh, the proud graduate of the ITSMF uh, Prodigy program. ITSMF is, uh, stands for Information Technology Senior management forum. And this is a mission that uh, is formed with uh, well over about 200 members now. And these are members whose um, uh, minimum level, I should say, skill level is at the director's level in a particular company. And they are all the way up to uh, senior executives, senior directors, senior managers, managers um, general managers, uh, those who are um, senior VPs, um, VPs and uh, also CEOs, CIOs of their companies. So these are senior leaders and key decision making uh, opportunities. The ITSMF organization has a partnership with BDPA and what we do on a regular basis is um, send members who are recommended by BDPA or just have an interest in going through a year-long 
program. They have a mentor in the ITSMF organization who mentors them through um, lead. And the goal at the end is hopefully this person will have an opportunity to get a promotion at the end. And their track record is pretty good, I, I must say. Um, it actually happened with me. I started in a, a senior manager position and uh, got promoted to director during the time. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. I saw that in your bio that you were director, and yes. I didn't even know that you were a director. Yes. Because you're just such a regular person when I'm around you. Okay. Well, really, I'm a VP, but they don't know it yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the next step. Right. Now, we've talked a lot about how membership in BDPA benefits individuals. What about corporations? Oh, my. That's, that's another wonderful segue. The corporations come to our conference every year because they do see the value in making sure that they have key peripherals for their organization. They know that by coming to our career fair, they're going to get people who are trained. The resumes are very professionally written. They also have gone through, in many cases, a career coach, which we have usually at our conference each year. And they, they have a relationship with these coaches outside of BDPA. So they know that they're going to get that skilled professional. It provides the company with an opportunity to really hone in on that diverse talent that their organizations are really looking for. Well, that's, uh, that sounds very beneficial, and you're talking about the conference and corporations finding diverse talent. Let's talk mm -hmm. a little about the career fair okay. at the conference. Okay, so we're looking at um, uh, just a little under 100 people who are coming. I should say companies, not people, but companies, because we're looking. Hopefully, we're having over 1,000 people walk through the career fair. And these are p people who are looking for job opportunities, chain fields, just getting information, because remember, this is a technology. Expo as well as career fair. So they have an opportunity to come to learn a little about new technology as well as to look for an opportunity. And I must say that I've had corporations say to me that they've hired people right on the spot because there are interview booths that are set up at the career fair and they're interviewing people because they're serious. They are coming to hire that talent at a BDPA's career fair. And the, the career fair and the conference is going to be where this year? It's going to be in Atlanta, in Georgia, Atlanta. August 6th through the 9th. Okay. And the career fair is on Friday and on Saturday. And on Saturday we have a town hall presenter, um, primarily with the idea of attracting someone to, uh, attracting people there rather, having someone who's, who's a link card to bring people to the conference. So. We have some really talented folks at our conference this year. Okay, we just have a few more minutes, and so I'd like to talk a little bit about Memphis and how Memphis can possibly benefit from being affiliated with BDPA. I know that the National Board of Directors meeting will be here in May of 2009. Tell me a little bit about how you decide on a city for that and whether or not Memphis could possibly be a host for the conference. Okay. Well, the national president um, usually networks with the local leaders and they normally pick a city that um, is certainly going to be conducive to increasing membership because again, it's all about membership for BDPA. And uh, we've spoken certainly about uh, increasing the membership here at Memphis. And uh, I certainly have a personal goal in helping all chat to increase their membership. So ask and ye shall receive, and certainly that's why I'm here. So we are looking to have our National Board of Directors meeting here. We have a total of eight, that's four per year, once a quarter, and uh, that meeting is scheduled for May of 2009. So we're really looking forward to that and the wonderful hospitality. And what about the possibility of a national conference here in Memphis? Well, that's another benefit, certainly. Um, it's sort of twofold. So we have an opportunity to help grow the membership, and this is also one of those top ten cities that's been slated for a BDPA national conference. And what do you look for when you're looking at a city for the national conference? That's, that's a great question. You're really, you're really filled with them tonight. <laughs> the um, demographics is a big one. 
we want to make sure that if we're going to bring a conference here, that we're going to people who are going to come to the conference. They're coming to the career fair because, again, our major um, partners want to have that diverse talent. So they're coming to the career fair. They're coming looking for jobs. They're coming getting information about technology. So we're looking for cities that have the demographics that are going to be attracted to our organization. Well, I'm just uh, very, very excited you know, to have you here in Memphis. Is there anything in particular that you want to see while you're here? I know you're not going to be here very long, but any particular place you want to visit or any any particular food you want well, to eat? I, I, you know I love seafood, and I understand that I can certainly get seafood and great poultry here, but I definitely know you're going to take me down on Beale Street, so I know that that's a, that's a good one. It's like the New Orleans of Memphis, right? Yes. And uh, you definitely have some of the best jazz here, so we're looking forward to that next May when we come in, too. That's a big jazz time, I understand. Yes. Uh, actually, you'll be here the weekend of the Beale Street Music Festival. Excellent. Which is uh, really, really a big thing, big deal great. here here in Memphis. Okay. So um, to wrap up about BDPA, the initiatives, just give me uh, just a quick maybe 30 second wrap up, 30, 45 second wrap up about the benefits of being a member of BDPA. Benefits of being a member, I would start off by saying, is the networking to get a real education in technology if that's your focus. If you're really interested in technology, BDP is always going to be on the cutting edge of that. If you're interested in growth in your current career, we're on the cutting edge of that as well. We have members in all disciplines from junior levels all the way up to the senior levels and I can't think of a better organization who could offer that to you and do it with a smile and love. What we call the BDPA love and hug and we do that genuinely because we're here to serve. Okay, well I, I'm just so glad to have you here in Memphis and so happy that you agreed to be a guest on the television program and uh, I'm just really, really excited about the NBOD meeting next year here, right. National Board of Directors, another acronym. Right. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to the National Conference. And I just want to thank you all for tuning in to the Business Computing Show. I'm Nancy Ford, your host and president of the Memphis chapter of BDPA. And I've been interviewing Denise Holland, the president of BDPA at the national level. Thank you so much. when you sign up for Comcast Digital Voice? Unlimited local and long distance, and a whole lot more. Enjoy 12 POC features, plus voicemail, all at no extra charge. Even keep your current phone number. Plus, add Comcast high-speed internet with power boost and save even more. Call now and add both services for just $49.90 per month for six months with your Comcast Digital Cable service. Call 1-800-COMCAST today. Some high-speed internet services say they're fast, but only one really backs it up. Comcast High-Speed Internet. It's way faster than DSL. And Comcast, now with Power Boost, makes fast even faster with download speeds of up to 12 megs. And for a limited time, you can get it for just $19.95 a month for six months. This deal is going fast, so call 259-1400 and get Comcast High-Speed Internet for as low as $19.95 a month for six months. Thank you.